Sandra Ho reached a milestone as she hosted Saturday Night Live for the first time. The Killing Eve star shared the 30 Rockefeller stage in New York City with musical guest Tame Impala. And Jordan Peele's horror film Us was parroted in a Discover commercial as a customer service rep as the tethered doppelganger of a concerned card holder. The comedy sketch show began with a take on the Robert Mueller investigation as Robert De Niro played the government official. As Mueller read his report, acting Attorney General William Barr, played by A.D. Bryant, gave his interpretation which lead to Donald Trump, played by Alec Baldwin, tweeting out his take. Hilarity ensued as Kate McKinnon played Rudy Giuliani who set a team of goblins line in his head and Oh in Korean mean huh it's hard for me to accept compliments cause I'm Canadian. Leslie Jones came out on stage to help Sandra accept compliments which made the Grey's Anatomy star scream, I'm Sandra Oh and I'm hosting Saturday Night Live. A parody of the hit horror film Us by Jordan Peele was revealed in a Discover credit card commercial with Egon Woden and Keenan Thompson. A sketch involving the scandal with Jussie Smollett took place in a conference room of his Fox show Empire. The actor was accused of lying about being the victim of a hate crime recently and in the sketch, Jussie Smollett, played by Chris Redd, pretends to be late for the meeting after another hate crime. A period piece sketch involved a Victorian era deliver a woman's affections as the fighting bows accidentally shot the woman. Each bullet would ricochet off the stone fencing and hit the woman as she continually forgave the men for injuring her. Mikey Day played a dorky adolescent trying to become muscular and popular as his future self appears in the mirror to reassure him he will get all he wishes. Then Sandra Ho appears as his girlfriend Tishy, who is a 47-year-old eccentric woman with a broken arm and can afford loco. The teenager can wrap his head around why he is in love with Tishy after he finds out she treats him terribly like burning down his house. But he soon discovers out in the end that Tishy owns Samsung and is a billionaire. Doc Beckman had played Vlader Putin who has a meeting with his staff to figure out why Trump loves him so, as Kim Jong-il enters with Sandra Oh playing his translator. The glorious leader doubts Putin is truly a villain after Trump was not blackmailed by him and Putin seemed to be soft. Dot Weekend Update roasted Trump after the Mueller report found no collusion between his campaign and the Russian election interference. Cecily Strong portrayed Janine Pirro who screamed thanks to her fans which are old men on their hospital beds and white nationalists in jail. She goes into a tirade about how the Mueller report states Trump is 37-year-old and has oozed a certified sex machine. He's getting rid of Jussie Smollett and bringing back Roseanne Barr. An office coffee room meeting turns into a birthday celebration for the 85-year-old administration assistant named Lois whose only wish is for her co-workers to kiss. I'm not cheating on my husband for Louise's birthday. After two of them eventually agree to kiss, Louise doesn't think it's hot enough, 